Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. In our last episode, we started working our way through the Iron Keep and took on the Smelter Demon. So what we're going to want to do now is just finish exploring. And we should be encountering another pursuer right down here. Yes. Same tactic as, as usual. Just kind of wait for a parry. And then get in your attacks. Time should do it. Maybe two or three. Oh, we got us that time. Ooh, Ring of Blades plus one. That is a good one. What to give up. Let's see, we might not be giving up anything. That is a really good ring, though. The Ring of Blades is modeled after the Mad Knight of Elgin's weapon of choice. Increased physical attacks. I think that's the same description as the other ones. Yes. Okay. So if we take a look. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's an extra 28 every time we're attacking. That might be better. I wonder if we should try something a little different. We put on... greater miracle attacks still, and then we switch our shield, even though it's less physical protection, it does boost stamina while using it, and it does have a pretty cool look to it, kind of goes with our aesthetic. I might want to try that for a little bit, see if it's affecting us in any way. We already went that way, so we're going to want to be going right back up here. Just reset our area real quick. It's kind of like a shortcut spot. Even with sneaking up on the guy, we still got hit. Okay, let's pop for punishment real quick. in this area. I'm gonna run and jump. I think this might tip them all down. I forget though. Just brings them up and down, okay. Not too much of a change there. I wanna go this way first. 
our ferris lockstone. And there is another um, belfry that we want to explore. I think belfry soul. Ring. That's going to be good for lightning defense. We're not really probably going to be using that on fire very much. No need to reset anything. Okay, let's get into it. It's not really a boss fight or anything, it's just a little area. I'd like to say we can actually have a little friend along for the experience. I wonder if we can actually hit this enemy. Nope, just missed. Aided by a bell keeper. Okay, another human effigy and bell keeper shield. I'd like to say that is all that is down here. Then we ring the bell. That is a pretty cool looking shield. And most of the time we have our speeder anyway, so I think it'll be just as effective or pretty close as if we had on the Glorinthy ring. That way we're going to have greater miracle attack and greater physical attack. Oh, another one of these guys. Simpleton Spice. Okay, so these guys, if we just kind of get one of them to come on over. take out these guys. And more Simpleton Spice. I think that about does it for Belfry Soul. I believe is a pyromancy. And a human effigy and what type of troche is that? Triclops snake. So that's going to help for petrification. 
I don't think we run into that very much in this area. But that probably would have helped if we were fighting the rat enemies. Okay, let's take out some enemies while we can. Rude enemies. <laughs> we should draw the other tortoise on over. This guy. Okay, we're gonna want to get rid of him. Too much. Non stop with that. We should be able to get this guy too. We time this just right. Okay, large soul. I'd like to say there are more enemies up here. Might just be the one. No, there are two. I'd like to say we get invaded at this part as well. Okay, destructive great arrow, yes. if this leads to anything. Let's try it just for fun. Oh, but that's just water again. <laughs> I 
That is disappointing. <laughs> well, lesson learned for future playthroughs. and fire arrows. Black Knight Great Axe, that's pretty cool. Get to use a Black Knight weapon in this game, actually. More Simpleton Spice. Okay, we're gonna drop down here. Drop down here. Drop down here. down here. Careful at this part and drop down just right so you don't fall into the lava in the cauldron. And then slowly walk. Covetous gold serpent ring. I believe that increases item discovery. And then roll down here. Should be a tortoise enemy waiting for us, yes. Okay, soul item, and I don't think there's anything over here except another Elan Knight. Big guillotina. Draw the tortoise and run. Don't want that to fall on you. Almost at the end of this area. I just kind of be careful here.
not careful enough. Here's our ladder. One more ladder to go, and then we're at the next bonfire. this lever and this will mitigate some of the flame within the area. Feel free to take in the sights. Lots of lava. It's still pretty cool though. I'm trying to see if there are any spots where we were as we were working our way through. Lightning shortbow plus one. That's pretty good, actually. We might want to start upgrading that and switch out our bow, because that's going to have lightning damage. Okay, so now this way is going to take you to the boss. I honestly don't think we need a summon for this fight. So I think we're just going to try to take it on solo. It's not really a challenging fight. The area itself is kind of a nuisance just because you're on a small platform with a lot of lava and you can get shoved into a hole. But the fight itself is not that bad. I think we'll want... well first we'll want to put on replenishment. Just because it's nice to have when you're in a boss fight, just have a little health regeneration as you go. Start with Lightning Spear and work our way over, probably to just using our spear entirely. Pretty cool cutscene though. I think this is the last of the four Great Souls we needed. I believe the old Iron King soul is like embodied within this. I'm not sure if it's like an actual demonic creature or a statue of some kind. It looks like Satan though. never looked at that. Pretty awesome. And right here is one of the real bosses of the whole area. You get shoved into that. <laughs> Not gonna have a good time. 
It's interesting how the old Iron King is not too bad of a fight, but then when you actually do the DLC of this whole type of area, the old Iron King, it is a dramatically different experience. Some of the hardest bosses are in that area. And that one is right over here. Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. So now we found two portals to DLC content. There's oh, forgot about that. <laughs> Good old Aldia. No one has come this far. Not for a very long while. Young Arlo, do you wish to share this curse? Then accept the fate of your ilk and face the trials that await you. And yes, you have already joined the Crestfallen. <laughs> So we'll be learning more about Aldia throughout the latter half of our playthrough. He is a pretty cool character though. I believe he's Vendrick's brother. Every once in a while he kind of pops in and gives you some new dialogue. But we have a new soul right here. The old Iron King soul. The Iron King's flesh was charred and his soul possessed by the things that lurk below. So that's pretty cool. We're actually not going to be using that for anything, I don't think. So we can actually just take on that soul and consume it. I believe if you use a aesthetic, you can get a you are blessed with Pretty a powerful miracle, but I've never used that miracle. Bearer of the curse, make your way to the castle. Because it requires a lot of faith. It's like, I'd like to say 60. Okay, we can get five levels. Get a little more endurance. Adaptability is almost where we want it, but we still need more faith. Almost there, though. But I think we're actually going to call this one. We're pushing 30 minutes, and in our next episode, we should be able to start heading our way over to Dranglia Castle, which is that big tower in the distance. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.